in a major breakthrough in hair cell leukemia came in first in mid 1980s when we learned about pentostatin clodripine was highly effective in these patients. And then in 2011, that we learned that uh, the presence of BRF B600 E mutation in the vast majority of the hairy cell leukemia patients, which made it a very attractive target for hairy cell. So based on that finding, we have initiated our phase two study, multicenter study at our center uh, as a uh, lead investigator, uh, looking at the selective BRF inhibitor of imurafenib in patients with a relapse or refractory hairy cell leukemia. So, um, the using that agents, well, so far we have, we just opened the clinical trial in January of 2013 and uh, it relatively fast accrual for this relatively rare disease. So we have accrued 13 patients total, including at our site, and then we just opened at other sites as well in the United States and have seen actually very impressive response rates of, so, uh, we have of the 13 patients, and nine are evaluable for response, have completed more than three uh, months of therapy. And of those nine patients, seven have achieved a complete remission. And the two have achieved a partial remission, but very little disease burden, less than 5% of the hairy cells in the bone marrow and the peripheral, uh, in the bone marrow and none in peripheral blood. And then all, have, all of these patients actually have a complete hematologic recovery. 